you all sell yourself short all the time. You guys don't have a certificate. You guys have a license. And I don't think you get the difference. I don't think you understand the difference. And I certainly don't think you value what you do. So let me tell you from a legal, from an attorney perspective, someone who's practiced for 27 years, what this means, okay? When I was a brand new baby attorney, I worked for the Kentucky Attorney General's office, okay? I had a little office in the basement of the Capitol and I was in their civil division and they gave me right out of law school. How crazy was this, right? They gave me boards and agencies to represent. I was their general counsel. I'll go to their meetings, just like KRC meets. I would go to their meetings. They never gave me any big ones. Okay, they gave me like little ones. Um, and I didn't know what I was doing, but I had a bunch of attorneys that I could go ask, hey, what do I do? Right? And I did it all the time. Like, what do I do? What do I do now? What do I do now? So that was, that was fun. And I learned this huge distinction that you guys don't know, in my opinion, you don't know this. Okay? So there were certification boards, for example, there's certified alcohol and drug counselors, and then there's licensure boards like real estate agent, and they have our real estate commission and um, medical licensure, okay? Here's what a certificate means. A certificate means that you have achieved a certain level of education and or passed a test or some combination of the two, and because you did those, you could call yourself a certified whatever, okay? But other people can do that. They just can't call themselves a certified. The classic example, lots of people can go out and do alcohol and drug counseling, but you can't call yourself an alcohol, a certified alcohol and drug counselor unless you're certified, unless you got the certificate on the wall, okay? Licensure means it is illegal for anyone else to do this mm. unless they have that license. If I go in my purse, I don't have a knife, don't freak out. If I go in my purse and grab a knife and walk over here and cut Katie, is that okay? No! Of course it's not okay. But what if, what if I told you I'm a licensed surgeon? I'm an Aubrey theater and I and I cut on her arm. Is that okay? Absolutely. Why? What's the difference? Same action. The difference is I'm licensed to do it. Okay, so now let's think about this for a second. Pretty darn cool, right? You guys don't have a certificate, you have a license. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think the General Assembly years and years ago said this profession, super important in every state, by the way, not just ours, that, that this needs to be licensed? Is it because one of the guys in the General Assembly had a brother-in-law who was a realtor and wanted to make sure that he had business? Is that what it is? No. Because what you do protects, other than their lives, the single most important investment of everybody's life. And I don't care how smart or dumb your client is. You could have a rocket scientist. You could have a brain surgeon for a client. That doesn't mean they're smart in this. And what you do is super tricky and super hard. And you don't have the advantage of seeing the transactions where agents aren't involved that I get to see that blow up or, you know, never close or cost people thousands of dollars or they buy something they shouldn't have bought. Why? Because they didn't have that. And everything that you do, which is super crazy hard, it's hard to get the license, it's hard to keep the license, you have to go to all these classes all the time, everything's different, everything's changing, you gotta keep up with all this kind of stuff. Why? Because you're licensed professionals. Because what you do is important. And here's the deal, it is dangerous for anyone else to go out there and attempt to do what you guys are doing without your license. Now, let me ask you this. Do you wanna to go to the surgeon who's licensed? Do you want to go to the surgeon who feels confident in what they do, who can look at their past track record and say, here's where we are and here's what I've done and here's my success stories? Or do you want to go to the surgeon who says, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I can offer it underneath for like, a, a, you know, $2,000. Okay. So here's the thing. If you walk out of here with one thing, you are not the cut rate surgeon. Don't be the cut rate surgeon. There is a reason why the state of Kentucky, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, elected to give you a license and not me a license, by the way, family. I got a law license, but I don't have a your license. Couldn't do it. So, so please stop thinking. They're doing you a service by letting you sell their house. They're doing you a service by letting by picking you to go drive around with them and find houses. You, what you do is so critically important and you don't even know the thousand little things that you do. I don't know the thousand little things that you do and I've been around you for 22 years and I still don't get it all. Please, 
please, please don't be the cut rate surgeon. And don't, even if you, if you, even if you want to be the cut rate surgeon, okay, great, go be the cut rate surgeon. But don't view yourself as the cut rate surgeon because you're not. You're too important. You're too critical. 